Hello, my name is Mark Erickson, and I am excited to be showing you something really fun and cool. So I'm sure you've seen ChatGPT, you've heard about it at least, but one of the really neat things is the idea of agents. And an agent is something that is code that can interact with your app. So I'm wrapping up access to ChatGPT, and I'm giving it access to pieces of my app and letting my app communicate with it. And for that little agent demo, in two days over a weekend just because i thought it would be fun and heck man it was such a blast i created a personal fitness trainer so let's see what it looks like to use this agent so he says hello my name is max i'm your personal trainer how can i help you today so we're not seeing any of the stuff that's defining what this agent does or how he works or anything that's all hidden behind this interface but really that's exactly how it should be so i'm just going to come in here and say well, how do we start? Great to see your enthusiasm. Let me get to know a little bit more about you. So he's asking some questions about my name, age and gender, my current level of fitness. Like, do I, do I know how to work out? What are my fitness goals? Looking to build strength, lose weight, improve endurance or what? Like, what are my goals? Do you have any physical limitations or injuries to consider? What's your motivation for wanting to do this? Understanding the motivation will help me keep you motivated along the way. What resources do you have available? For example, do you have a gym membership or at-home workout equipment or prefer bodyweight exercises? Once I have this information, I can help create a personalized fitness plan for you. So let's go ahead. Let's, let's try this out. Let's see what it can do. So I'll start off answering some of these questions. My name is Mark. I'm a guy. I'm in my 40s. I guess, you know, for fitness... I'm probably, you know, intermediate. I've worked out before, I know how to safely exercise. And my goals are to lose about 15 pounds. I wanna get back into weight training cause you know, I've gotten really lax with that. So I need someone to help me do that and be motivated and, and keep going. So I'd like some help and some accountability, right? So specifically, I wanna build more muscle and get some definition. And so he'd asked about, um, let's see, uh, physical limitations or injuries. Well, actually, yes. I have injured my shoulder a few times, so I don't really want to lift heavy weights above my head because I don't want to aggravate that. And my motivation? Well, I want to be healthier. I want to feel stronger, and I want to work on my core strength. And because I know a healthy core, you know, avoid injuries in general, right? It's like, that's, that's my goal, right? And, oh, what resources do I have? Uh, I have an at-home gym which consists of like a rowing machine, a recumbent bike, a rack of dumbbells ranging from five to 45 pounds. Oh, and I also have some P90X workout videos. Let's see what he says. Ooh, updated my information. That's interesting. Well, thanks for sharing that information, Mark. It's great to see you're motivated to get healthier and feel stronger. Remember your goal to avoid injuries and feel stronger will be our guiding principle as we work on your fitness plan. That's so cool. So given your resources and limitations, here's a preliminary weekly fitness plan for you. So let's see, Monday, we got upper body strength training, dumbbell, bench press, and bent over rows. Tuesday, we're doing cardio. Oh, P90X, Ab Ripper X, it knows about the videos. Okay, it knows which one's in there. It says, oh, we're gonna use my rowing machine for 30 minutes at a moderate pace, great. Then Wednesday, see lower body strength training, dumbbell squats, dumbbell deadlifts, three sets of 10, cool. Thursday is another cardio and core day. Friday, full body strength training. Okay, got dumbbell lunges, rows, that's on my, for my back and chest. Okay, then Saturday, light active walking, stretching yoga, Sunday rest. All right, remember the goal is to lose weight, build muscle and improve your core strength without straining your shoulder. Always listen to your body and adjust your weight as needed. Does this plan sound good to you? Hmm, so let me look at this. I think this looks like a pretty darn good plan. Upper body strength training, bench and bent over rows. Uh, let's see, I wanna add a tricep. I want to work on my triceps on Monday too. Absolutely, we can definitely add a tricep exercise to Monday. So he'd recommend doing dumbbell tricep kickbacks to avoid the shoulder injury. Very helpful, nice. All right, so now I got three exercises on Monday. Does this updated plan work for you? Yes. Oh, 
updated my information. Awesome. All right, fitness plan is all set. Remember the key to success is consistency. Stick to your plan and you'll be on your way to achieving your goals. I'll check in with you regularly to see how we're doing and make any necessary adjustments to your plan. Remember, your motivation is to be healthier, feel stronger, and work on your core strength to help avoid injuries. Keep that in mind as you work through exercises. Let's get started. You've got this. All right, well, what is today? What's my workout for today? Today is Monday, so your workout is focused on upper body strength training. Here's your plan. Remember the goal is to build strength without straining your shoulder. Okay. All right. So let's let's do it. Let's walk through what this would be like. I want to do this dumbbell press. All right. So let's see. Okay. So let me tell them what I did. I just did my three sets of bench press. I did a warm-up set with 25 pounds. And my main sets were with 30 pounds. By the end, I think I should have chosen a heavier weight. So let's tell them about that. recorded my fitness activity. Very cool. It's a great job on completing your bench press. It's good that you're recognizing your strength. Next time you can try increasing the weight slightly. Remember, form is important. All right, next is the dumbbell bent over rows and dumbbell tricep kickbacks. Keep up the good work. All right, so we're gonna do the bent over rows. I guess my first question is, um, how do I do bent over rows? It's been a little while. Okay, then he tells me how to do it. What's the right way to do this? Oh, if I'm unsure about the form, I can look up a video tutorial online. Yeah, YouTube has tons of that kind of stuff. All right, so we'll do the uh, bent over rows. And let me tell them how that went. Phew, that was tough. I started with a warm up using 20 pounds. My first set was 30 pounds. That wasn't enough. I upped it to 40 pounds for the last two sets, and that was good. All right, just recorded that for me. Thank you. Awesome work. Great to see you're listening to your body and adjusting the weights accordingly. That's how progress happens. Now let's move on to the dumbbell tricep kickbacks. Remember to start with a lighter weight and focus on maintaining good form. Okay, let's tell them how that went. It was good. I maxed out on my last set at 20 pounds and I didn't finish the reps. Ah, recorded it, thank you. Great job on completing your workout for today. Hey, my workout's done, awesome. It's okay if you didn't hit the full 10 reps of your tricep kickbacks. The fact that you pushed yourself and maxed out shows you're giving it your all. Thank you. That feel, makes me feel so good. I'm happy to be doing this. Remember, it's all about progress, not perfection. Rest up and hydrate. Tomorrow you have cardio and core workout with the rowing machine and the P90X Ab Ripper X. Whew, awesome. Now, this is so cool. I actually built this over the weekend. I took two days to build this, then did my workout for Monday, and it was awesome i'm just like man this is so fun this is so cool to have like this type of an assistant right that is totally tailored to what i want to do now here's the interesting thing if you've ever done with chat gpt you'll notice that when you have one conversation and then you start a new conversation it has no idea of anything from the previous history right that's just how it works everything happens in this one conversation it has no historical context but an agent is different right? That's where the power comes in. It's been doing extra things, recording fitness activity entries. So let's see, uh, if I hit refresh, normally that wipes out everything. So I'm coming at this fresh, I've started. So let's ask it, what's my workout for tomorrow? And it tells me what I'm doing tomorrow. Great. And remember to improve your cardiovascular health and strengthen your core. Let's keep your why in mind, doing it to feel healthier and stronger. Let's get to it, Mark. That's so cool. I have, that's actually motivating for me, right? That I, I get to have this work the way I want, right? So let's say, what was my last workout? Retrieves the history. Ah, okay, the last workout was on October 9th. It was upper body strength training. So here's, here's where we see what it recorded, right? And is able to pull back later that I did the dumbbell bench press three sets with the weight. I noted that I could potentially increase the weight, right? So it's recording it for me. So when I come back the next week and I want to refer back to what did I do before, it can tell me that. And it can say, hey, <laughs> given what you did in the past and what you want to do, you know, here's where you should start. And that is so cool. And that is the idea of an agent. 
So this particular agent was built just for personal fitness, but you can see this type of agent, this type of ability for ChatGPT to be wrapped up with a whole bunch of context pre-established about how it should behave, what it's all doing, what its purpose is, how it should act and, and interact with the user, and then give it access to pieces of your application where it can store your data and it can access the data again in the future, right? That is cool. I can say, what do you know about me? Here's what I know about you. 40 year old, identify as male, have an intermediate level of fitness. My, it's, it's recorded my goals. I have a shoulder injury, so I'm avoiding overhead lifts. Uh, my motivation is stored. My, my resources are stored and my current fitness plan is stored. It's so like it is able to access all that information, keep context. And from one conversation to the next, it, it has that history, right? And that's part of my application. It's stored in my app. My app could have other ways of accessing some of that same data that it's storing for me, right? That is awesome. I love it. And what I'm doing is I've built this into the Elixir LangChain demo app right? This is something you can do for yourself and you can seriously have fun with it, play with it. Just ask it questions like, Hey, I want to train for a marathon. I want to work on endurance. And it will actually come up with a tailored plan for you and record it all. So you can come back and report on it and have accountability in that way, right? That is awesome. So I hope you have fun with it. Check out the code, see how easy this is to do, but that's it. Thanks for watching.